trouble is a blessing, really. Some will spend their whole lives in their comfort zone, wherever that may be. Others are destined to explore, to venture out into the unknown, to find comfort in the chaos. Wherever they go becomes a part of them somehow. And if they travel far enough, they just might find themselves. What have I found after a decade of travel? Freedom from myself. Time to dive back into the archives once again. Today, we're looking back at the last day of the 2018 West Coast road trip. We're in Portland. Today, is the last day of the US. Today, we have thought that we're going to go to the next day. We're going to go to the next day. We're going to go to the There's a musty spot, Multnomah Falls. We're going to go to Yeah, this is called the weirdest city in America. I'm pretty sure if you go to downtown, you're gonna know why. I'm going to go to the evening time. I'm going to go to the food cards, check out. Waterfront for area, check it out. Yeah, I think, I think that should cover it. Ready? Ready, bro. You're just joining us now. My cousin Harris is visiting me from England for a trip across the west coast of the US. We've traveled more than 4,000 miles in less than two weeks. Today, we're spending the day in and around Portland, Oregon. Our first stop is a must-try breakfast place, a waffle window. Nobody, nobody says no to free food. <laughs> it's been a few years since I've had this. Watching this again has kicked my cravings into overdrive. Going to Multnomah Falls. This is the most visited natural recreation area in the entire Pacific Northwest. There are countless pictures and videos of this place online and chances are you've seen this on your Instagram feed at some point in your life. It gets more than 2 million visitors each year. It is the tallest waterfall in Oregon. Multnomah Falls drops 635 feet in two major tiers down salt cliffs. But as always, it's crowded with tourists. So we're going to walk through the forest to head to another waterfall nearby, Bridal Vale Falls.
what's that doing to say right there? It's the Wolf Pen Nazi Rifle Bell. This is one of the most beautiful waterfalls in Oregon. To be fair, Oregon has countless waterfalls and most of them are ridiculously beautiful. It will be more of a challenge to find a waterfall in this state that was shit. Anyway, next up it's time for a quick lunch at the Portland Food Cars. What's up man? <laughs> Just here. <laughs> now, it's time to park the navigator and head out for a stroll through the city. Portland is a pretty chill city apart from the occasional encounter with a meth head. This is considered the weirdest city in America. I mean, you know, we're just out here in Portland. And, um, you know, my last day here now, and we're just walking down, around downtown, and apparently there's weird people around here, so, you know, just keeping my eyes open and seeing what I can find, you know? And then tomorrow, fly back to the UK, man. <laughs> I'm going to put it here. 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 I mean, this joke is not here. It's really well known for, you know. What's this building for? It's Ben and Jerry's. I've seen some incredibly strange things there that are definitely unique to this city. This is Hippie Central. It's also the only city I've been to in my entire life where I've met people who are homeless by choice. That really blew my mind. for Harris, we didn't encounter anything crazy tonight. Even the waterfront was clear. Not a junky stoner or hippie in sight. Not a single soul that identified as an inanimate object. No rainbow colored hair or anything even remotely strange. It felt like Portland was sleeping. Where did all the crazy go? Perhaps finding a quiet chill night in Portland was the strangest thing that happened on this trip. Portland. So, what I learned today, boys, the reason it's called Portland is because it's port ships. It's land of port. So, literally, Portland, you know? <laughs> I mean, Americans, you gotta love their simplicity, man. <laughs> it's been a crazy trip so far, one neither of us will ever forget. From the crazy wildfires to the heat of Death Valley, from Sin City to the pristine beaches of San Diego, experiencing the tourist traps of Los Angeles and getting robbed for 10k worth of shit in San Francisco. Then letting go of all our worries and enjoying a slice of heaven at Lake Tahoe. ATVs at the largest coastal sand dunes in America, unknowingly destroying a sensitive ecosystem and of course, the simply magical waterfalls we saw along the way. It's time to say goodbye to Harris, but this won't be the last of our adventures together, and it's definitely not the last time we dive back into the archives. Next time, we're going on the ultimate US road trip, a complete loop from coast to coast, more than 30 states, 15,000 plus miles, more than a month on the road, an adventure of a lifetime, the great American road trip.